Thank you for introduction. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Ryohei Eguchi, and I'm working on my uh, PhD in uh, Nara Institute of Science and Technology, and everyone called NIST. And today's topic, my topic is classification of arcanoid compounds based on sabring uh, skeleton. A secondary metabolites are uh, defined as a group of natural compounds that are not directly involving in growth, development, or reproduction of organisms. The term secondary in the context of metabolic pathways was introduced in 1891. The function of secondary metabolites are related to their prevalent potent biomolecular activity acquired in evaluation process involving pest and pathogen defense and UVB sunscreen and so on. And these are, uh, sorry, and these are very important things for uh, medical science, uh, pharmacy, uh, agriculture and uh, life science. Secondary metabolites uh, like this. Uh, curcumin, uh, for, for example, uh, curcumin, isoflavon, uh, catechin. <coughs> Secondary metabolites with known chemical structures are more than 3,000 terpenoids. Uh, and 9,000 isoprobon and 12,000 uh, alkaloids. <clears throat> and in 2008, we started to accumulate the relation between metabolites and producing and retain them in NAPSA core database. And this figure shows uh, an abstract core database. And uh, <coughs> presently, which are about 100,000 species metabolite relationship and compressing uh, 20,000 uh, species and 50,000 metabolites. Based on current statics of the relationship between metabolites and species, it has been predicted that there are at least one million within all plants on this planet. And alkaloids, a large group of nitrogen containing secondary metabolites produced by almost every variety of organisms, such as bacteria, fang, plants, and animals. Uh, organisms produce diverse polycyclic compounds, including unsaturated and saturated bonds. <coughs> the classification of secondary metabolites taking chemical structures and metabolic pathway into consideration could provide important clues to activity of metabolites which lead to interpretation of function acquisition mechanisms of secondary metabolites in evolutionary process. In the present study, we ex examined whether or not classification of alkaloids by subring skeleton can be related to metabolic pathways. Uh, here, a link skeleton it means link structure without taking saturated or unsaturated chemical bonds into consideration. And sub-ring skeletons means substructure including link structure obtained from ring skeleton. <coughs> uh, and for example, a ring skeleton is like this and sub-ring skeleton is like this. Thus, so, uh, classification of arcanoids based on skeleton might provide important information for systematic understanding of chemical structures and also have important clues for 
predicting biosynthetic pathways. So the idea of subring skeleton was extended to apply classification of alkanoids, uh, alkanoids compound based on ring skeletons <coughs> and to systemize alkanoids compounds and to examine the performance of the approach to protect it by synthetic pathways based on based by module uh, elements. We also discussed structure-based classification of secondary metabolites as a multiple disciplinary fields combining uh, chemo and bioinformatics. Uh, next, uh, I'd like to talk about uh, my method and uh, data. Uh, initially, we accumulated uh, 468 polycyclic compounds whose metabolic pathways were available in uh, 67 references. We obtained pathway information from science documents and depicted dip dip the summary of 32 pathway maps in this table. Uh, we made alkanoids pathway maps based on starting compound as amino acid, a uh, compound related with amino acid biosynthetic terpenoids, compounds related with TCS cycle and fatty acid and nucleic acid. Uh, because alkanoids are uh, often divided into the true alkanoids which originate from amino acid and several alkanoids that do not originate from amino acids. For example, uh, terpene-like, uh, steroid-like, and prene-like alkanoid. <coughs> uh, this figure shows the uh, subring skeleton profiling with uh, example uh, visual screen alkanoid uh, biosynthetic pathway from L uh, tyrosine to zanginarin. Uh, L tyrosine is this, and zanginarin is this. <coughs> and out of seven compounds, uh, C7 to C30, uh, C7 to C30, uh, C12 and C13 have identical ring skeleton S9. S9 is like this. And the, the other have individual ring skeleton, S4 to S8, S4 to S8. And next, sub-ring skeletons were produced for each skeleton. Uh, for example, uh, S4, corresponding, S4 corresponding to nine sub-ring skeletons like this. In step two, uh, subring skeleton matrix was constructed by setting binary elements such in case of uh, presence or absence of the subring skeleton in the compound. <coughs> Here we use the IUPAC International Chemical Identifier for isomorphism for uh, check for subring skeletons. In step three, compounds were clustered based on hierarchical clustering methods and molecular fingerprints uh, techniques have been developed. That is, uh, Shirike and Pavchem, uh, Max, and so on. Uh, those molecular fingerprints generally focus on side chain substructures of molecules. Alternatively, subring skeleton profile make it possible to examine and compose a compound based on all possible subring skeleton. So subring skeleton profiling is useful for systematic understanding of building principle of ring system. And next, I'd like to talk about 
uh, my research, uh, uh, result of my research. <coughs> yeah, firstly, we extracted sublingual skeleton from 468 compounds and obtained uh, 2,546 uh, sublingual skeletons. This figure shows the distribution of the number of compounds along with the number of sublingual skeletons. It is interesting that there is no unique sublingual skeleton in 468 uh, sub, uh, compounds. And that is, there is no sublingual skeleton defined by single compounds. All sublings correspond to multiple alkaloid compounds, thus individual alkaloid compounds related with each other by un uh, target unique sublings skeletons. Uh, secondly, uh, we represented individual compounds as two, uh, 2546 dimensional binary vectors. Here, uh, if sublingual skeleton is present in target compound, the element was set to one, otherwise the uh, element was set to zero. We applied world clustering method to matrix consisting 468 compounds and 2546 unique sublingual skeletons are uh, tentatively separated 468 compounds into 29 clusters, as visualized by dendrogram in this figure. <coughs> uh, we classified compounds into six groups designed by uh, G1, G2, G3, G4, G5, G6, in like this. <coughs> G1 and G2 are related with isodolgitalopen uh, involving uh, paxilin, terpendols, uh, lotrolems, uh, stroicosides, and these consist of polycyclic compounds comprised of six to nine rings characterized by five to six member rings and only one nitrogen. <coughs> A compound in G3 are related with sterling alkanoids with group size, including alpha serolin, alpha chaconin, and alpha tomatin, and their skeleton chemical structures are assigned with steroidal alkanoids. Compounds including EG4 are characterized by uh, bindering uh, derivative with greater than or equal to nitrogen atoms. <coughs> and G5 uh, correspond to ergot alkanoids. The other alkanoids compounds belong to G6 uh, cross the 9 to 29, and also have very diverse ring skeletons. <coughs> cluster 9 to uh, G6, uh, cluster 9 to uh, 29 can be characterized like this. And thus, uh, uh, 28 characters expected uh, cluster 27 uh, can be characterized by ring skeleton based on the sub-ring skeleton profile proposed by the present study. Uh, cluster 27 here uh, consists of half of the compound, uh, 277 uh, compounds examined in this study. So we further divide it into 25 subclusters A to Y uh, to characterize link skeleton as representativity of group of compounds uh, like this. Uh, sorry, like this. A to Y and uh, 25 clusters. 
And the 25 subcluster in cluster 27 are com uh, composed of little bit simple uh, heterocyclic ring skeleton in comparison to other clusters. In summary, it can be concludes the alkanoid compounds can be classified according to generally defined link system based on sub-ring skeleton profiles. <coughs> and we classified alkanoids based on sub-ring skeleton profile and thus associated general link structure to group of alkanoids. Next, we try to apply this concept to find the relation between link structure and modules in alkanoid metabolic pathway. Initially, we mapped compounds onto 32 pathway maps and summarized the relation between classification, uh, classification <coughs> result and pathway map. All but for cluster, uh, cluster 13 and 22 and 24, 25 and 27 correspond to single pathway map. Thus, cluster expressed by the sub-ring skeleton profile are highly related with alkanoid biosynthetic pathways. <laughs> because there is no time, I will explain about one of the results. Uh, this figure shows l tyrosine derivated alkanoid biosynthetic pathway, which is associated to cluster 11. And cluster 12, uh, cluster 11 uh, associated basoisocranes, uh, cluster 12 and uh, morphinans, uh, cluster 27 to 20, uh, uh, cluster 17 to 90 uh, berberines, and cluster 21 isocranes. Uh, those clusters can be explained by the relation the l in initially derived ring skeleton related with uh, quirins. And those skeletons diverse into three groups of skeletons. And other pathways like this. Uh, in my research, uh, 32 pathways are uh, available. <coughs> and in this way, uh, it can be concluded that we can comprehensively systemize the alkanoid compounds and explain construction principle of ring skeleton in alkanoid based on sub-ring skeleton profiling. And the pathway of alcon the pathway of all known metabolites are not known. It, in this present study, we sub uh, surveyed the pathway information in scientific document as well as in CAG pathway database and uh, obtained 468 heterocyclic alkanoid compounds. <coughs> and, uh, there are uh, 12,000 compounds with nitrogen atoms related to alkanoids in the NAPFA core database. In the present study, we defined 186 ring skeletons pathway known alkanoids. We tried to assign uh, 12,246 uh, 12, compounds to pathway known ring skeleton and observe the that uh, 25 percentage correspond to the skeleton, but the remaining uh, 74 uh, percentage do not. And by examining the sub-ring skeleton's similarity of the remaining compounds, it might be possible to obtain clues of pathway information and systemization of all, com uh, all alkanoid compounds. And moreover, uh, bioinformatics and chemoinformatics play informatic important rules in interpretation and understanding chemical and biological fields based on chemical and 
biological data and in fast and efficient calculate for handling huge data sets. For example, we tried to extract a suffering skeleton from about 50,000 compounds. There we obtained about six million suffering skeletons. Therefore, in future work, we develop basic technology about producing suffering skeletons from chemical structure based on zero suppressed binary decision tree. And conclusion. Uh, thank, you, thank you for your kind attention.